Good morning, everyone. Happy Earth Day and welcome to Earth Talks. I'm Phil Thompson. I'm the director of the Center for Environmental Justice and Sustainability here at Seattle U. And I'd like to welcome all of our students, staff, and faculty, as well as, as well as those from around the world who are joining us today. So we're, of course, coming to you live from Seattle, which is the native home to the Duwamish people who for centuries lived with the land and cared for each other, especially those who were most vulnerable in their tribe. There's much we can learn from those original examples of living sustainably. Today, our theme is unifying for climate, climate solutions for a just world. And our goal is to bring you stories of hope from members of our community, really ac across Seattle. The climate crisis may feel daunting, but we can be hopeful that humanity will overcome the biggest challenge of our time. In 1987, the nations of the world came together and signed the Montreal Protocol to eliminate CFCs. And today, the infamous ozone hole over Antarctica continues to shrink and will be fully closed over the coming decades. One year ago, the pandemic gave us much fear and uncertainty. And now, thanks to the, many, the work of many, so many around the globe, we move closer and closer to normalcy each and every day. In just the past few months, the US has rejoined the Paris Climate Accord. And today, President Biden announced that the US has established a goal of reducing greenhouse gas emissions by 52% by 2030. We can get there, especially if we all do our part. I urge you all to be conscious of your carbon footprint. When the pandemic is over, you're gonna to wanna to enjoy those roaring 20s, but go to 2020, let's say that, but go easy. Do the things that you love, but consume less of everything. Use what you need but know when you have enough. And now on to the show.